Hello there. It's um, Friday night over where I am, and uh, I'm the Archivist. Time to look at some trading cards. And so, yeah, uh, I'm not sure what I want to do next. And I'm not allowed to broadcast live on YouTube yet. You have to uh, get like a certain number of views. Uh, help me out with that, by the way. Because uh, once I can do this live, we could, you know, you could, you could tell me what you what you thought I should do next. Um, but don't worry, I'm going to do all this this weekend. I'm going to film probably 20, 30 videos this weekend. Um, so you'll see all this stuff. And this is like not this, like hundreds more over there. So don't even, yeah, don't even trip. There's plenty to, to see here. Uh, but this, yeah, if, you've, if, you've, if you've read anything on my website, you know, you know what this is already. This is a package from AliExpress. There are trading cards in there. I honestly, and this seems weird, I really don't know what's in that. And the reason is because I have four of these. This is the smallest one. There's three more over there. They're much bigger. Um, and, you know, I, they, they, they take like a month and a half to get here. They combine orders. They split orders. Sometimes, like, the vendor is late getting the product in, so, like, Half the order will get mixed with another one, and or AliExpress will just like put two vendors together. That's happened sometimes. I don't know how logistics work, but it's very cheap, so I'm not going to complain. But the result is, uh, until I unwrap that, I can't tell you what's in that. I can guess. Uh, it's one of twenty possible things, I guess. <laughs> Maybe probably two or three things from the look of it, but but I I, I don't know what it is. Anyway, so so we could open that. And we could find out what's in that, or uh, we could open these. These are pretty cool. Um, this is something I've been holding on to for a while. Uh, it was one of the first things I bought, and I have not opened it yet. It's a, if you know the show, it's One Punch Man. So these are One Punch Man cards. It's a ten yuan, uh, ten yuan box. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'd have to. I I have not done any research on this, and it's been so long. I I don't really remember the flyers anymore either. But just like looking at it here, it it looks like a legitimate product. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they've got a redemption system, or maybe these are medallion systems. Um, it looks more legit than this, which I'll show you next. So this looks maybe maybe kind of like it has the right licensing. I'll have to translate that later to find out. Uh, and this warning is pretty standard. If it's a Dojin set, like the... I don't have it here to show you. Sorry, if I had it, I'd show you the, uh, the Chainsaw Man set. It's a Dojin set, which means it was created by hobbyists. Um, that doesn't mean they're not a company, but it means they're not, they don't have a license, right? That's basically what that means. Uh, we use that word online a lot for like people who make fan-made versions of uh, manga, right? So if you write, if you write your own uh, uh, Gundam manga or something as a fan creation, we would call that a doujin creation. And the same thing can be for trading cards. So if you make a set of trading cards at home, which people do, people make art cards at home and sell them one-off cards. Uh, that happens all the time. You can even find them on AliExpress. Uh, those are hobby cards, dojin cards. Just, you know, as long as they're not... Well, this is going to cross that line, but as long as they're not labeled as official products, it's usually kind of okay. And in China, like, everything's okay. But uh, over here, even, that's sort of okay. Like, there's fair use a little bit. Uh, just don't try to make money off it. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'm taking a long time for this. We could open this. Uh, or <laughs> this one I've had. Also, I've had it for a very long time. Um... Obviously, pretty cool set here. We got the Joker looking, looking crazy with his little uh, hollow, hollow foil gun there. So these are DC EU Extended Universe cards. And in case you were wondering what the Extended Universe is, well, there you go. So what they've done is redirects here. They printed the Wikipedia article onto the back of this car, this box. And it just cuts off where they ran out of space. <laughs> like there's more to this article, but they just, yeah, they just laid it out like that. 
But what don't you see on this box? You know, no licensing markings. Well, you see these, right? These are fake, but you don't see any government licensing markings. That's really important for stuff created in China. That's legitimate. So that's this, right? Um, it would be uh, not unheard of by any means, but it would be, you know, illegal even in China to fake these markings. These are like government licensing markings, especially that one. So you won't, like, Dojin sets won't have it on there because they don't want to get arrested, like, for that, right? Uh, they won't get arrested for making the set because, the, you know, DC has no capability to enforce their copyright in China. And the uh, right of first sale means I, I own this now and I can do whatever I want with it. Um, except I can't represent it as a licensed product. It's, like, I, it's not a licensed product. This is not a licensed product. There's no way. This is all fake. Uh, everything I've read about this is it's... Um, um, pretty nice cards, but very poor distribution. So like you're, I can't, there's 11 packs in here, 12. You're not going to get much, right? And uh, very poor distribution. Maybe like one hit in the entire box, right? Like one thing above you are in the whole box is what I've heard online. I've never opened it, obviously. It's still sealed. Uh, so we could do that. So I don't know. Uh, I've already spent... I've been doing this. Spend about six, six and a half minutes just talking about that. Uh, yeah, I talk a lot, I guess. You know what? Let's do this. I will open these this weekend. I really want to, but I'm just, I think there might be Chainsaw Man cards in here. Not the big head ones. Those are sold out everywhere. I'm, I still have mine and I still have ten, nine packs left. Yeah, nine packs left. Um, those are sold out everywhere. You can get one on eBay for like eight bucks, but don't, don't do that. Okay, so yeah, let's look at this. So I'm going to just cut the paper off the top. All right, let's see the bubble wrap football. Great. I, I don't know who sent this to me. I, I honestly don't know. I mean, there's a label on it, but the way this logistics work, that label is not the person sent it to me. It's a holding company that, that does like reship seeds to the US. That's why, again, why it's so hard to know what. I know which set this is now. Uh, it is very cool. <laughs> very cool. But it's not not gonna be uh not gonna be chance on it. Yeah, this, uh, I think this, I don't think this came from my favorite, so not quite as well. Like, you'll notice the corners don't have the protections, but still, this is pretty well packed. And these boxes look like they survived well. Probably mostly because the Star Wars box provides a lot of support. It's very heavy box. Oh, actually, I was wrong. There are Chainsaw Man cards in here. Huh. Okay. Well, congratulations. I guess you some Chainsaw Man cards. After all. Uh, let's try to clear this off. All right. Uh, let's take a look at what we got. Start here. It's oh, it's damaged again. Hmm. I've been having a heck of a time getting this box undamaged. So you see, we have some damage here, and some here. On the other hand, it is wrapped. So this is this is three kingdoms. We already looked at this. I have a review up already. But, uh, 
Yeah, they're really nice, so I got another one. Yeah, so this will probably stay sealed for a while. Maybe. I don't know. They're very nice. That is tempting, but, they, but I, I will probably keep this sealed. You can see it's got all the security tape on it. And the coolest thing about these boxes, uh, which is not true even about the Star Wars one, is this here has to be ripped in order to open it. And so if the vendor had searched this at all, you would see this tab torn a little bit. It's very hard to put that back. Like, they wouldn't be able to put that back. Um, whereas the rest of this, like, I've seen fake Kyrie tape before, so that's not hard to fake. But this is uh, very smart of Kyrie to do that, because, you know, it's impossible to search these boxes. Um, anyway, great cards. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to open these. Chance on man last. So another thing you've you've already seen uh, is the Star Wars cards. Yeah, I got another box. The reason I got this is just because of how crazy uh, these have been getting. So as you know, in the Reddit, someone posted uh, that Kylo Ren card today. They're selling that for two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> this box costs eighteen dollars. <laughs> like what? This is crazy. Uh, and there's a fin card for four hundred dollars, so you can get some pretty good stuff out of this. Uh, but you don't want to buy it in America <laughs> because it costs a lot of money here. Uh, I was at a, sh a shop last weekend, and they were selling packs of this for ten dollars a pack, uh, which is crazy. Especially since you could search the packs too, so they it's just terrible. Do not buy this in America for, at all. Not on eBay, nothing. It's going to be a bad deal. Um, you know, check my site. I, I show you how to get it. You can even get, like, a case of this. Uh, it'll come down to, like, $15 a box. Like, uh, it's, it's insane. Okay, so anyway, $18. You can get it for there. Um, remember I was telling you about the markings, right? This one doesn't have that. But this is a legitimate product. Um, there, there's one really easy way to know. It's got Disney written on it. And Disney is one of the few companies that enforces copyright in China and can do it well. So you don't put this on a box unless you have a license or you are going to jail for a long time. Um, really fun, uh, kind of interesting thing is this, uh, the vendor, you know, licensee or whatever makes these step-in card games. Uh, you know, obviously that's their English translation of their name. The Chinese version of this is on the flyers, but they don't put it on the box because this, this is meant to be sold in America at the Disney parks. Uh, so it's printed up for, for U.S. stuff, and, and this is meant to get a sticker over it with, you know, the Disney stuff on it. But this Step In Card Games Limited, because, because they don't have an English site and... You, if you type these words into Google, it's not going to find the Chinese site because, like, the Chinese characters are completely different. Uh, I own that keyword right now. This People type this into Google and they go to my site. 100%. Like, I get hundreds and hundreds of people every day copying here because of that, that keyword. Uh, I, I don't even have that keyword in any of my articles. It's just, I think, Google, like, associated... I don't know how SEO works. Anyway. So, yeah. I will open this, probably just to get the ticket, but uh, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait. I really want it because it, it's a Rogue One ticket. I'm 100% sure there's a Rogue One ticket in this one, but I'm not going to open it now. And uh, this is the last, uh, last thing I'll show you. Oh, God, you can feel <laughs> Uh, this is, um, yeah, okay. So, Chainsaw Man cards. You know those have gone insane. Uh, I have a box. A few people have a box. You can pay $70, $80 on eBay to get a box. Don't do that. Um, but that's, you, you can't get them otherwise. Uh, Big Head did one production run, and their their Dojin company, they didn't think they'd make that many. Uh and they all sold out in like a week. They were all gone. Like if you didn't buy it that first week, you, you couldn't get it. By the time reviews appeared, it was already sold out. Uh, so you, you had to have bought it then. Uh, so I have one. But because that was so popular, other Dojin 
uh, companies have now produced sets as well. And like I was saying before, usually you shouldn't uh, mess with those because they're going to be uh, kind of cheap. And I can feel this is pretty cheap. And it, it, it was not cheap. Uh, it was maybe $25. This is a pretty expensive one compared comparatively. Only eight packs in here. But this is interesting because they have uh, they have government markings on it. It might be I guess because it's G fashion maybe. This might be uh, what's called art cards or something instead. I don't know. Anyway, my plan is uh, there's another one of these, so I have I'll have three in the end. Uh, my plan is to do like a, one of those pack battles with Chainsaw Man. Yeah, all, all the cards look like this set. Cards look amazing on the flyers. They all look great. Uh, feels kind of cheap, but like, uh, I don't know. You, you can't feel it, obviously, but this box does not feel like a like a 10, 10 yuan box. And where is its price? Like a 10 yuan box. It's actually priced worse. It's because it's only got eight packs. So it's be like a 12 or something. But yeah. But anyway, so there you go. That's what I got for you today, and hope you enjoyed it.